Hello everyone, welcome to the last episode of Weary Weekly Entertainment News associated with BWN. Today I will be discussing arts and entertainment venues in my hometown of Pittsfield. Our first stop is Barrington Stage Company. The ever popular theater company opened in 1995. At the time it operated at Mount Everett High School in Sheffield, Massachusetts. For years, it struggled to find a home until 2005. There, it purchased a long-abandoned building on Union Street. After much construction, it opened in June 2007, whereas it, it has remained ever since. It is a champion of youth theater and was honored by many organizations for its Playwright Mentoring Project, an after-school program for troubled youth. Barrington Stage Company has produced several award-winning productions. These include their versions of On the Town, Mabel and Mac, West Side Story, and Sweeney Todd, just to name a few. However, their greatest theatrical impact was the world premiere of the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. This musical was conceived by William Finn and Rachel Senekin and proved to be such a big hit it was transferred to Broadway in 2004. There, it won two Tony Awards, including one for Jesse Tyler Ferguson, years before he joined the cast of Modern Family. Our next entertainment venue is the Berkshire Theatre Group, which has two locations, one in Pittsfield and the other in Stockbridge. The Colonial Theatre, located in Pittsfield, opened on September 28, 1903, and was a major success from the word go. Twenty-five years later, the group expanded to Stockbridge with the Berkshire Playhouse. Sadly, the original Colonial Theater was forced to close during the Great Depression. The Berkshire Playhouse continued to grow, and in 1976 was named to the National Registry of Historic Places. This led to an interest in the revitalization of the Pittsfield Colonial Theater, which had been empty for years. In 1998, the newly renovated Colonial Theater opened, and the Berkshire Theatre Group has maintained the two locations ever since. The Berkshire Theatre Group puts on five to six shows per year in each of their locations. These range from community productions to concerts to youth theatre. One of the Berkshire Theatre Group's biggest success is the annual production of A Christmas Carol. It is performed every Christmas with a cast of combined professional and local actors. Musician James Taylor has performed in the musical as recently in 2018. Our last entertainment venue in Pittsfield is the Liechtenstein Center. Unlike the other two venues, this venue was only established in 2012. It is named after the late Kitty Liechtenstein, a benefactor for the arts and entertainment in Berkshire County. It is a community arts center housed in the Pittsfield Upstreet Cultural District. It includes numerous artist studios and is the home of Art in Our Schools, the annual art show for middle and high schoolers from students in Pittsfield Public Schools. Additionally, space is used for performances and readings by a variety of musicians, dancers, actors, and poets. Every February, the center hosts the 10x10 Upstreet Arts Festival. This is a production of 10 short plays by 10 different playwrights, each lasting 10 minutes. Some of these plays have even been extended and gone on to the Barrington Stage Company. And now, for your home arts and entertainment news. The American Film Institution, or AFI, has launched the AFI Movie Club. Each day, AFI selects an iconic movie for the world to watch together. A film personality will introduce the film, and the website offers a communal viewing. Movies have ranged from the original Snow White to more recent affair like Arrival. The movie club also has a section called Where to Stream. This tells you where you can watch the selected movie of the day, from subscription services, to TV apps, to rental and purchase options. Finally, since this is my last episode of Weary Weekly Entertainment News for MCLA, there are a couple of people I would like to thank for helping me during my time at the college. First, I'd like to thank my fellow BWN members. I'm going to miss everyone.
Dr. Amber Engelson is the chair of the English department, and she gave me the confidence I needed in my writing abilities. Professor Michael Burtz has been my main professor for the communication studies and inspired me to focus on a career in broadcast journalism. Sean McIntosh has been my academic advisor and the person who has assisted me in my scripts and WWEN performances. Peter Gentle helped upload the packages and graphics for WWEN. He also made the current effects for the studio episodes. Lastly, I would like to give a special thanks to Charlene S.W. While she did not want her picture to be shown, I am sending her these virtual bouquet of flowers as a thank you. The number of things she has helped me with during my time at MCLA is far too many to list. She has made me into the student, reporter, and person that I am today. That ends Weary Weekly Entertainment News for Beacon Web News. However, this is not the end of Weary Weekly Entertainment News as a whole. I am taking a much needed break for a couple of weeks, but new episodes will be back up by May 20th on YouTube and beyond. Thank you.